All right. Pan seared lamb leg steaks in a mint gravy. First of all, I'll take you through the ingredients. Uh, we've got two teaspoons of salt flakes, 320 grams or 12 ounces of lamb leg steaks. These are rather nice Welsh lamb leg steaks. Two tablespoons of oil. You'll need half an onion, finely chopped. Two cloves of garlic, uh, finely minced. A tablespoon of plain or all-purpose flour. 300 mils of beef or lamb stock. That's about 10 fluid ounces. A tablespoon of mint sauce. Or you can substitute two tablespoons of fresh mint mixed with one tablespoon of vinegar and one teaspoon of sugar. All right. So that's your ingredients list. And uh, I apologise for the uh, sound because um, I've had a technical difficulty with my camera and I lost all the sound for the whole video. So what I've had to do is um, voice do a voiceover for it. So the rest of the action takes place on the stove. All right, I've decided to give my uh, cast iron enameled pan an outing this time. Cast iron retains heat particularly well and it's particularly good for this type of uh, pan searing. And it's enamel coated so you've got to be careful when adding liquids when it's very hot otherwise you'll craze the surface. Alright the pan's coming up to heat now so I'm just going to add some salt flakes to it. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of salt flakes and sprinkle them all over the surface of the pan. And that starts to crackle immediately because it's getting very, very hot. At this stage, you just add the leg steaks. And you're not pushing them down at all. You don't want to squeeze all the juice out of them. You just want to drop them onto the salt and let them uh, cook in the fierce heat of the pan. I'm going to be serving this with broccoli and new potatoes and carrots so as soon as you're able to lift them you turn them and if you can't lift them straight away if they're still stuck to the bottom just leave them there a few more seconds and they will release themselves as soon as they're seared so just turn these ones don't push down hard on the steaks just push down the corners to get a good seal there's some nice sizzling going on. It's a pity we lost that. So the only thing in there at the moment is salt and the lamb leg steaks. There's no other seasonings at this time. I'm going to cook these uh, medium or medium well for the smaller pieces. Uh, but you can cook them however you like them. Anything from rare to well done. But the secret is just to... Uh, cook the steaks to your own liking here medium and medium rare you turn them twice for well done you turn them three times and you only turn them once if you want them rare okay as soon as you're happy with those take them off put them on a plate and let them rest for a few minutes while you make up the sauce the first thing you want to add is your two tablespoons of oil and then as soon as you've got that in, you want to get in your onion straight away. Now you give it a good stir. And you want to be cooking those until they're rather translucent before the next step. You can turn down the heat now to about two thirds of your heat range. Keep it moving so it doesn't burn. So once it's got nice and translucent, you can now add in your garlic. And stir that in well. Garlic has a high sugar content, so it burns much quicker than uh, onions will. So you want to be cooking that for about a minute. Make sure you stir it all the time. And then in goes your flour. Then you give it a stir to coat all the flour with the oil. Get it all mixed in nicely. The reason we do this, if you don't coat it all in oil, you tend to get lumps of flour in your gravy. So get it all coated with oil. 
and now you can add in your stock. So in goes the stock. I like to add it half and half, half at a time, because that's quite fierce heat as you see it bubbles up readily there. And we'll get that stirred in. And it also starts to lift the fond off the bottom of the pan, which helps flavour and colour the gravy. And you stir that in. And as you stir it will thicken. Now I'm adding in the mint sauce. So that's a full tablespoon of English mint sauce. Or the alternative. All the ingredients are listed in the description below this video. So you stir that in and give it a good old mix. And you want to get in there with a spoon and have a taste test. See what it needs. Now a bit of black pepper. And give it some seasoning. At this stage you adjust the seasoning. It's going to be salty enough with the salt in the bottom of the pan. Give it a final stir. And that's about ready. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a little bit more water. Just to thin out the gravy a little bit. It was a little bit thick. And don't forget as that gravy cools off it will go even thicker. So let's get this thing served. Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.